In this episode of Hidden Cities Extreme, that's ninja for you, man! I take on the weird and the bizarre in Tokyo, Japan. I'm Simon Yen. Oh, boy. Actor, filmmaker, and a sucker for punishment. I'm no daredevil, just an ordinary city slicker armed with a TV crew and an insatiable thirst for adventure. My mission, to uncover and face down Asia's most extreme experiences. Japan is a land of extremes that defies all explanation. The same country that brought you Godzilla gave us Hello Kitty. From the Saki, to the Kawaii, to the Komono, to Yoko Ono, Simon Yin is about to get under the skin and spend some Japanese yen. Japanese cuisine is beautiful. It's delicate. The flavors are balanced and nuanced. But this is Hidden Cities Extreme! We don't do subtle, baby. I'm about to meet a man who makes food out of little creatures, and it's gonna bug a lot of sushi lovers. Mr. Uchiyama-san. Shoichi Uchiyama is an insect cuisine expert. He's on a quest to make his fellow Japanese eat more bugs. Today, he's hosting an insect feast for a party of around 20, and I'm gonna help him prepare the dishes. What made you realize one day, oh, I think insects are something that I wanna pursue as far as eating? You just wake up and say, oh, I wanna eat insects. I was born in Nagano, and 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 I was born in Nagano. Uchiyama-san hopes the Japanese will return to what he calls the tradition of eating insects. Oh, wow. Look at this praying mantis. <laughs> wow. It may not look too yummy, but one in three people around the world are already eating bugs. Feasting on these creepy crawlies could even help fight world hunger and improve nutrition. I got it. I got one. I Adult got one. grasshoppers have been found to contain similar amounts of protein as raw beef. First one, baby. Gotcha. Gotcha. Get in there. Gotcha. There's an insect for every season, it seems. In summer, cicadas are the freshest. His bag is becoming a musical instrument of insects. With our bags there. full, we decide to call it a day. Let's go home, shall we? So we have our local catch. <laughs> Apart from Japanese bugs, Uchiyama-san also breeds some foreign insects. Uchiyama-san, in America, we don't eat cockroach. <laughs> we kill cockroaches! The thought of eating cockroaches might not tickle your fancy, but some cultures eat them for their health benefits. For example, in Chinese medicine, it's believed that cockroach extracts can help cure cancer. So do Japanese cockroaches and Argentinian cockroaches taste the same? <laughs> Okay. I'm in Japan, I want to make sushi, and I want to make bug sushi with you. Let's do it! <laughs> well, today I went out to the field oh, and I caught you this. Yeah, do you want to Once see a month, this? Uchiyama-san hosts these bug banquets for the Japanese who are interested or curious about eating insects. <laughs> so this is the menu. 20 courses today, from cockroach, to bees, to worms, to everything in between. Let's get started. Uchiyama-san has given me the task of frying the insects, and some of them are gonna be used for bug sushi. Oh, it's good. Oh yeah, beans. Tastes like beans. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can. That's just a small taste of things to come. Yeah. It's time now to move on to something more extreme. It's like so furry on the bottom. Help me! It's getting on my arm! Oh, God! Oh. There are over 3,000 types of cockroaches in the world, and they are among the oldest species of insects. These chicks are absolutely out of control. Okay, nice and slow. Nice and slow. The dish of the day, sautéed cockroach. Mmm. Cutting off the exoskeleton. Uchiyama-san is like, oh, it doesn't taste good. 
Saute the egg? Yes! You sure this is okay for my health? Is it safe? I think so. Well, I think so, he says. Here's a cockroach for your health. Tastes pretty darn good. I don't want to like it, but I kind of do. Now to the main course, we're making insect sushi. Cucumber in the middle. This one I call the bat wing. Look at this. You can't tell me that you can't go into some Japanese restaurant, order this, and not be impressed. Cheers. Cheers. It's actually not too bad. You can taste the bug. So it tastes good. After all the work, this is the moment of truth. Delicious. <laughs> As it turns out, the dishes are the bomb diggity, and the guests love it. Yay! It was a treat to have everybody here experiencing the sushi. It exceeded my expectations. Not only is it just about eating these weird and exotic foods, but I think what it's really about sharing with all your friends. So this is my praying mantis sushi that I caught and that I made, and I present it to my master, Uchiyama-san. One, two, three, cheers! Hey!